Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome to a brand new series on a game called Avon Colony. So Avon Colony is kind of a cross between maybe an Anno uh, sort of game mixed with a planet base and then uh, Sim City or City Skylines in there. Basically a city builder on a, uh, a foreign planet. I guess that's a good way to put it. Uh, where you build up your base using different modules and different parts and collecting resources and farming food and all sorts of really cool stuff like that. Uh, with that said, this game is coming out on September 7th. It's been delayed a little bit, uh, but they did send a key to me today. I'm playing on a, an early beta build. In fact, uh, actually the, the name of the, the exe file is prototypeoc.exe, so it doesn't even have a game name on it yet. So it's still really early, um, so take that as you will and, and don't judge me either because I'm still a noob at the game. I don't have that much time into it. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to jump into the brand new game and we're going to play the Hollow Sim 1. Now also there's more information down below in the video description as well as the links where you can check out the game if you would like to. So it says the training exercise is optional but we consider it a high priority and we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, there we are. Look at those graphics. Okay, so I mean, it's straightforward here to begin with. We're gonna try to go through this pretty fast. Left click to move around, move cameras, WASD, and then most of the edge to do that. Cool, look at these, I love these little things. So drag up and down, middle, and to click. Drag left and right, middle to rotate, Q and E, also rotate. I don't like that one as much. It's not as fluent as the, the mouse wheel. And then zooming, obviously, and then we can click on a building to select. Pretty straightforward. Double click on a building to center, and then we can double click on the train to scroll to a point, and F to recenter the colony. That's kind of necessary because these worlds are are pretty stinking big. Um, I've, I've played through some of them. Uh oh, I played through some of them, and you can easily get lost. So having a, a center to base is a really cool thing. I I also really like the art style of this. Look at this thing. That is a construction drone hub. Looks awesome. We've got a storage depot over here. There's some solar panels. Just really cool art style for a, a city builder like this. And then nanites indicator. So the nanites are down here. These are uh, basically the things that build for us our main resource. And then we have to get uh, iron and copper mines to extract metals. Um, so looking at that. So we need to build a mine on top of an iron deposit. We luckily do have an iron deposit. So let's click on that, and then that is what that little cube is right there. We'll click on that. Good job. And then we can run the speeds down here, one, two, three, four, and five on the keyboard, do that. And one if you tap one twice. You can get through there. Change game speed, cool, very good. And hope for the most over the season's progress. So there's seasons down here. Seasons interact with uh, the kind of foods that you're farming and stuff like that. Uh, four seasons. Winter, sun goes down because it's difficult to grow food and solar panels generate less electricity. That's awesome. I bet we can die by then. Uh, let's see. Click to tunnel. So tunnels kind of work in two things. Uh, tunnel is like a, a power conduit in RimWorld or like a road in the SimCity or a city skylines where our traffic goes through there. Wait for the drones to construct them. Look at those little dudes go. You go, little drone man. You do the thing you do with your life. Or we can speed it up so they go faster. Cool. Next up, electricity indicator. Ta da! We are 43 of 43 of 36, so we need to get more energy, which means we're probably going to build some solar panels. All structures either produce or consume electricity. Electricity is automated, automatically distributed through all connected structures, and tunnels are a very inexpensive way to conduct electricity. So we do have power shortages. You can use see the storage depot has lost power. The mine and tunnels that will. We built, pushed our electricity past demand. So we'll go ahead and do that. Energy substructure. We can do either the two or the one. It doesn't matter. We'll grab this one first. Ooh. I want to know what that one looks like compared to these. Because I feel that's a... Yeah, it's tier one of three. Is there an upgrade? Oh, we can just upgrade it. That's awesome. Huh. That's really cool. So there's a tier two. Wow. That's cool. And population indicator. We added a new indicator just to the left of the nanite indicator. So that's this. Our population is, I guess, average happiness of 68%. One unhappy cup. Oh, we have 16, so one of 16. Cool. Surveillance camera. Meet your colonist. We can hit C to switch. Hey, little dude. Oh, I can't zoom in on you. Nice. But we can click on him, and that tells us what to do here. This is Jain Decker. I wish I could rename the people too, but I can't. 
Can't do it in that. Might be able to edit the save file. That might be a little tough. I'll have to look into that. Oh, they're consuming. What's this? Uh, ration packs and rice. Hmm. Tutorial complete. Familiar with the basics? Continue the next tutorial for the core gameplay concepts. This next one's where it gets interesting. All right. The first hollow sim showed the purpose of several of the indicators on your colony governance system. Let's take a look at the food indicator. Hover over the food, which is down here. Ah, so we had the happiness one, and we added these in here. Good. Pretty, pretty decent user interface for an early game like this. Your colonists need food and water to survive. As your colony expands, you'll have more and more hungry meals to feed. So keep an eye on the food you have. Very good. So we click on the colony control panel, and now it's going to tell us to hit OK to close it. So we can look through here. Our morale is decent. Housing is totally filled up. That's not good. We can enable social policies for rationing. I guess that cuts down on the food. We do have some building. We hit OK to close it and go to next, and then we can build some more tunnels. So the whole idea of this is we're going to build a farm in the nearby field, which I'm guessing the green is the field because it looks farmy, farmish. <laughs> it's really strange. Right next to the snow area is a farm area. Whatever. So we need to build the farm menu, and then we can click on the farm. And then up here are the different vegetables and, I guess, fruit we can do. Barley, broccoli, corn, rice, kiona. Quan Quinia Kai Kaiunia Quan Quaikan Jin. Corn. Cool. Corn, place the farm, let the nanites go and do their business. Congratulations, us. I really like this. Watch it grow. Watch you ready? Here it goes. Wow! We have corn. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, overlays. Now that we built our farms, let's take a look on who's working on our farms. Good idea. So let's press the overlays button, which is over here. Kind of wish that was like a keyboard shortcut for tab or something. Oh, it definitely is. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, then we can do the employment. I didn't know that. I'm just guessing. It's intuitive. That Things like that tell me that the game has a good promise when a developer has thought about that in an early stage. Because um, a, a lot of times games don't have usability things in it. So we have the employment overlay. And we've got... Uh, we have... 100% employed apartment. We need some jobs in farming, but we have some extra in mining. So that's what's going to tell us to do. Select the mine. And then we can click on you to fire. Oh. We can click on you and then shift and click on the workers to fire them. Gotcha. Cool. So that's good. And then those guys go over here because it's 100% jobs filled, 100% efficiency. And that is awesome. So click on the colony. Click on the social priorities. So we're going to do that rationing thing now. And the rationing allows us to get less food. We're going to go to that. And be familiar with colony governance. So, I mean, that was pretty quick. We need to go to our first full mission of uh, Vanar. Reminds me of Mass Effect. So, new game. Let's go to Vanar. And mission is to grow Vanar into a colony that can support hundreds of citizens to manufacture exotic goods and enhancement substances from alien plant species and they construct an earth history center. So this might take a little bit of time. Uh, I've not done this, so this is all new to me. Create a colony that can port a, support an earth history center. All right. Let's do our best to, to do our best. New missions available. Oh, good. It does tell us. Welcome to Venara. Hello. Vanar is a small colony with one of the friendlier parts of Evan Prime. Water and plant life are plentiful here. First, we need to supply water. Okay, let's do that. We're going to close that up, make some water. <laughs> Making water. Atmosphere condenser. Let's get the water pump since we have evidently a lot of water over here. Not connected to the colony. That's okay. We'll have to do that in a little bit. Let's just drop this right. I want it right there. Oh, so max. Huh, that's interesting. Look at the thing here that's the max water per hour. So, I mean, this one's better, but it's not that much different than some of these others. Like here, we have eight. That's definitely nine. I do like nine better than eight. It's a bigger number, so I'm gonna go with it. Okay, that's gonna be good. Needs to build a water pump. And 0% completed. Let's speed that up. Eight speed. Very nice. Yeah, conject completed. 12 nanites, that's what we got for rewards. So we probably need to connect that to our, our base. Ah, is that what this says? Building not connected, yep. So let's do that. I don't wanna go crossways like that. What is this thing? Resupply pod beacon, okay, let's go down. We're gonna bring the tunnel 
down, oh, we're gonna bring the tunnel, I said we're gonna bring the tunnel down here. And then we're gonna build the tunnel across here. Nice. Go ahead and build it, little fellas. Okay, farming time. Your colonists would like to increase your food income. Build a farm somewhere near the edge of your colony adjacent to any existing structure. You'll then receive 50 potash, which your farm can use to accelerate their efforts. Cool. So we can do a greenhouse or an actual farm. Let's do the farm. It's not working under... Oh, and then we can see the overlay. Ah, this is pretty good. We could do it in a area far, far away like this said. Do they change? Ooh, they do change based on the type of vegetable. Ooh, melons look good here. Uh, connect to the colony, adjacent power. Doesn't tell us what to build for this. What do we have over here? 7.8 melons. Winter warning, great. <laughs> and it's telling me to build a farm, so we should probably build a farm. I don't know where to put this thing. It said far away. So I guess right here maybe? 6.9. This was better up here, wasn't it? 7.8? 7.8. I couldn't build that because it's not adjacent to anything. Whatever, let's just plop it in over here somewhere. 7.2. This is the edge of the colony. Good enough for girls I go out with. Very good. Farm. Alright, click dismiss. This is an interesting thing. Items show up on the right side of the screen. Never seen that in a game before. I'm kidding, I've seen it in all sorts of games. It's good. Alright, objective completed. Very nice. 50 potash and 5 nano nanos. Farm tier 2. Does not work in the winter. We have a new request for you. And now we need some solar panel. Oh, we get some soda, soda pop out of the deal. <laughs> Inputs corn syrup. Good, there's there's chains and stuff. Uh, battery. Let's just, should we just go for this one? We have 30 nanites, we have 171. That should be fine. Uh, pop you in there. Go ahead and build it up. Powers online. Good. How's our power doing? Yeah, we have 64 power now. That's awesome. So now what are you going to tell me to do, Mr. Con Mr. Uh, mission? A new mission is available. Start mining. Okay. We're going to start mining and laser mine. Let's just do a regular mine mine. And this one's close. So we'll grab that. And insufficient power. Huh. Oh, because it's winter time now. Right. Oh, wow. And no, it's a thundery snowstorm. Oh, we get one of the resources. Crisis detected. Okay. Um, nanites? We have how many nanites? We should probably go for food. What's the difference between rice and quinoa? Um... Okay, let's, let's take the rice. I don't know. We'll go for that. We have insufficient power. We need more. Hmm. Okay. Hopefully it'll give us a new thing. Or the storm will blow over. And we'll no longer have insufficient power. Maybe we just need to build some other power source. Geothermal Jenny. That'll work. I like geothermal generators. Make the game so we don't have to rely on things. Cool. Objective completed. Looks good. Is this winter showing up? It is. How are these plants looking? Hmm. Enable and edible crops. What? Is that what these are? Oh, wow. That's kind of neat. Are we, are we still going here? Yeah, four, eight speed. New mission available. New mission is available. Build an apartment. Habitat and apartment. Okay, let's put this in right here. Looks good. Build it up, dudes. Okay, we got a ton of power now. <laughs> that's awesome. What does that do? Oh, that's the space bar makes the tunnels. Okay. A nanite processor? We get some beer out of the deal. It's my nanite processor. Okay, we're gonna put this close to our mine. Because that's where our stuff is coming from, right? And then our workers are coming from there. So let's do this. We're gonna build this. Come out here. 
sometimes it's a good idea to, to make your workers get to things faster. And that processor's going up. Should look at some of our workflows too. Uh, and our social things. Another new mission? I've consulted with Commissioner Barone, And a mini and storage I'll depot. You okay. Mini. Neat. Put you into place. Go away. Go away. Your progress is Colony suspect. reward. Ooh. Five immigrants. Home. Let's take the immigrants. That's that's awesome. Do we get a landing pad? Do they land like they did in uh, Planet Base? I don't think so. New mission is available. <sighs> okay, more inhabitants. Immigration center. What's this thing? Spaceport building. Ooh, maybe there is. Trade hub. Nice. Should we do this in the center? Or should we do this more on the outside? Kind of like putting it on the outside a little bit. Uh, maybe not. Can I put it right here? Sounds too good to be true to put it right there. Right in the center of the base, all of our working things over there. Yeah, that should work out pretty nicely. There's some people. Oh, wow. Yeah, a spaceship show up already. Drop ship. So it comes in. Oh, it's ascending. Three new per trip. Jacob Shang. Where are, where you is? I don't know where he is. Oh, new missions. Okay, new colony grow. Support 50 colonists. We will reward you with nanites and food. How many do we have? Uh, I don't know. I don't like that it doesn't pause in this menu. Okay, let's check. We have 21. All right. And build a habitat close. We can build habitats for days. Oh, I can't put it there. Let's do that. Build it up, Buttercup. How's our food supply? Food supply is going down. Huh. I've consulted with Commissioner Oxygen. Oh, I'd like to I didn't even think of that. Air inside hermetically sealed colony will turn follow for not careful. Uh, the geothermal generator will pollute the air fairly quickly. Please place an intake fan to help. Good idea to place it as close to the geothermal generator as you can. Take fan eight. as close to it as you can, huh? All right, we can do that. A new mission is available. And trade, build a trade hub. Okay, we need to advance out a little bit. Just go off that way. We can go off this way too. So those are pretty cheap. Okay, trade hub time. And I'm going to put you close to the center. Like that. Wow. Look at that screenshot. That's really pretty, isn't it? I, I love it. I love this game already. I have no idea if it'll be good, but we'll see what happens. Okay, upgrade the geothermal generator? Sure. Where is it? Uh, I'm turned around now. It's this thing. Yep. Upgrade. Pow! New mission. Exporting melons. Great, you have a hundred melons in your inventory. What about food? Can we not eat the food? Uh, okay. Probably a good idea to set melons as non-consumable in your inventory pane. Our key. Well, that's the only food I have, you ding dong. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and eat those. Uh-oh. Morning food level. Really? Yeah, we need to make food. Uh, the greenhouse? Right. Um, let's go ahead and make a, a thingy. Food, menu, and greenhouse. Grows crops for food, can grow 50% efficiency in winter. Ugh. Shoots. Here, this is a better spot. Build that up. I don't like the lower efficiency, but we'll have to see. I've consulted New missions. Uh oh. And I'd like to resupply drop available. As to how to best serve your a resupply drop available in order to assist you with your colony's current crisis. Locate one of the green glowing beacons near the colony. 
press the summon button. Oh. Summon. Three hours to land. Hopefully that's not that it, hopefully that is game time. Not out of game time. Population's almost up. We need to export our melons. Come here. Put on the building. Okay, shut down trade. Open trade user interface. Let's export 100 melons and we're going to import beer. Is that seriously what we're trading? I guess so. I really want to know what this does. I want to watch this trade ship go up. Upgrade to C. Did I do something I didn't want to do? Hey, there's the drop pod. Whoa, that's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Huh. Recycle? Um. So that goes directly to the inventory. Oh, there goes the trade ship. I think. Trade ship ascending. It just came out of nowhere. We got 300 food. I guess we're making melons in here again, aren't we? Yeah. Everybody's going to be sick of melons. Do I need to connect this? I don't think so. I think it automatically goes. I'll just recycle. I wish I told you what it actually had in it. Okay, 50 population coming soon. Oh, the sun's coming up. Sort of. Look at that. That is amazing. Recycle. We're getting another batch of immigrants here. That should be close to this. Yeah, we got our 50 now. That got recycled. Good. I hope you're keeping the happiness of your colonists. Reach 50, reach 100. Take your time, make everyone safe and happy. Excellent. And that's our trade ship coming in. I guess that's the beer, right? It should be. So that's what you traded for. I hope. We'll just see. Maybe. How's the morale doing? Uh, nobody's addicted. That's good. Policies, we don't have any of those. Probably should ration, but our food's going up. So I don't really care. Buildings, efficiency 82, greenhouse. Okay, that's fine. Map settings and statistics. Awesome. New mission available. And export 160 rice. I ain't, I ain't got none rice. What's this? Summer season. Wow, time goes really stinking fast in this game. Rice. Ugh. Eesh. Okay, go back to melons. We're gonna take you to rice. Yeah, that's a little better. Not really. Okay, 4x speed. We're still making good food. So I'm fine with that. Export. Trade vessel arrived. Okay. Good. So now it's kind of a waiting game. Ooh, is this level 2 greenhouse? It is. Let's upgrade. I mean, I got plenty of nanobots, so we're fine with that. Cost nine nanos. Wow, I don't know why I wouldn't for that cost. Can I upgrade the farm too? I guess so. Can I upgrade it again? Kind of wish it told you what the upgrades did on that menu too. Oh, it just gives more tiles. Uh huh. Okay, so we don't really need that stuff anymore. Let's see if there's a better food here. There isn't. Melons are by far the best. Okay, our population 100. Storage full. Let's go ahead and build a new storage department. Uh, resource management. What is this? Research center. I'm going to leave one gap uh, right there. We can build a tunnel going this way now. Might be kind of nice to build a tunnel going this way too. Cross. Good. It's gonna take a little bit of time to build everything up. Oops. Where's that new storage facility? I want you to build that first. If our storage truly is full, then yeah, good. I guess I could have upgraded that one that we have already, couldn't I have? Nope. Is there a list of all the buildings? It is. It would be nice to have um, the menu in here too, or the ability to click on it. Double click to zoom. Is there a repair all button? You just literally have to click on everything. What are these, storage modules? 
Really? We have a ton of storage modules, and we don't really need them. I guess I could recycle them and rebuild what I want to. What's this thing? Insufficient housing. Okay. Skyscraper. Ooh. Habitat tier 2. Where is our housing at? Not sure. There's 68. Colonies, 68. I guess we're of, how many is this? 25 of 54, 32, 33 of 54. Now, what's this sign do? See, I'm still learning too. Air quality, okay. Just taking a quick drink. What is this? Stay. Okay, air quality. Where, oh where? Show overlay. That's pretty gross. Let's go ahead and clean up some air over here. Air and air filter. What does this do? More efficient and not vulnerable to toxic gas. All right, burrito night is not gonna be a problem now. Can I upgrade that? I should be able to. Requires one air filter, requires tier two. Can you? Hey, there you go. Now I'm just gonna upgrade it right away. Cause it costs seven nanites. We got a ton. Do we have any rice? Oh, look at all that food we've got. Nice. Um, spaceport. Okay, not trade. Let's trade, and we're gonna export. Open trade. 160 rice for 200 pasta. Sounds good. I'm guessing the farming related. There's the farm tier three. Drone management structures, ooh, construction, police drone. Services related, retail center, we got a park, a bar and grill. Dave's bar and grill, right next to the skyscraper thing. Hospital, okay, export rice, upgrade the sea drone hub. That is this thing, let's upgrade you. And let this roll, let it roll, ride. That was good. How's the air quality now? I could look at the overlays. Oh, there's a trade menu right here. Overlay, uh, structures. So, electricity? Are we doing okay on electricity? Hmm. Star for power. Okay, so we're fine. Employment center, we do maybe need some more people? That looks fine. Crops, water, crime. We do have some crime going on up in here. Crime, 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 crime. A new mission is available. Extending the colony. Build a const second construction drone hub. Show me. Oh. Really? That's where you want it over here, huh? Interesting. Where is this? Might need another air intake. Oh, do we got some kind of cold going on? I think so. A new mission is available. New mission. Show me the cargo pod. No drones in range. What? Blocked. Oh, it's not powered. Help if I drove a bus over to it. There you go. Really? How does this work? It's a little confusing to me. Why can't I... Why can't I do this? Is it literally blocked? It is. Do I have to go around the backside? Blocked. I gotta drive all the way around the stupid ore. Nearest drone station has no power. I can't power it until... Huh. Is there just a power line? That's kind of goofy. We can't make power to go over there. Hmm. This is too far away. I need your help to balance our supplies on the Exporting couch. broccoli. So we're almost to the next level here. It's kind of weird. I think I'm going to recycle that. I'm also going to recycle this. I'm going to build it closer. I didn't expect that to work that way. 
Like, it seems kind of strange that we have to As do things. Recall, the Constitution guarantees oh, no. citizens the right to vote on their colony governor. Oh. It looks like that time is upon us again. Okay. I have a request for you from New missions, win a referendum. Hmm. So I'm not entirely sure on how much longer this is going to go on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode right here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and let me know if you want to see more of this Avon colony. Go check out the links down below in the video description as well as read through it. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.